that is great, you are greatly to be praised. You are so great that, that, that I can't stop praising you. I, I'm going to do it from the depths of my heart because of your greatness. He recognizes the greatness of God. He sees this colossal uh, 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 frame of God in his life. And he, no, I, you know, I can't miss this. I've got, to, I've got to stay under this canopy. I've got to, you, you know, there's a quote that says, I'm going to stay right under the blood. Yes. I'm going to stay, I'm going to make my haven there. I'm going to, I'm, my residence will be under the blood uh, because the devil can then do me no harm. Yes. Yeah, you know. He says, one generation will praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. So he's not only looking at himself. He's looking at his generation. He's looking at those that come behind him. Those right down to that, the Bible always talks about to the fourth generation. Mm -hmm. And he sees that and he, and he realizes one thing, you know, forever and ever means that even when I'm dead, the praises will go on. The praises will go on. So what does he mean by that? He means that if he praises God, he says the praises will be learned of by the generations that follow that your generation will praise God, your generation, generation will praise God, simply because you started praising God. Then they will recognize the great commitment that he made. And David looks at that and he says that if he can make such a great commitment to God that I do it every day, he says, I'm sure the generations will, will catch on. And, and then the praises will go from one generation to another. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, you know, that's a, that's a wonderful thought that he, he wants to die uh, uh, with, with the praises that he had fulfilled in his life. As he dies, he wants to see it go on and go yes. on and go on from one generation to another generation. He says, one generation will praise thee for thy works and another will declare thy mighty acts. Yeah. So one, so they, they will notice how good it is to praise God. And then they will see the wonderful acts of God, how God deals with people, how God heals, how God delivers, how God saves, how God sets free, how God blesses. That's all that he wants under this canopy of praise. You know, he says, I will speak of the glorious honor of God's majesty. And he says, they shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. You see, so he says that the memory of praising God will always be there. Will always be there. In other words, the generations will remember how David used to praise God. How David used to glorify God. And they will catch on. Wow, this is wonderful. This is this is a real blessing, you know. This is a real blessing. Uh, I remember when I pastored the church in German uh, quite many years back, my grandson well, my eldest grandson, uh, Matthew, uh, he was he was just a little, I think, maybe I think he must have been about two years old or something like that. Yeah, you know. And uh, uh, I was I was busy ministering at that particular time, and he was he was sitting down <coughs> on the bench here with with with, uh, uh, with my wife, with Lenny, and uh, he was sitting there, and I'm preaching, and I'm walking about, and I'm preaching, and he just the church is quiet and I'm, I'm busy preaching. So he, he just stands on the chair there because he's he's a big invalid. He gets on the chair, he stands and he shouts, Hallelujah, Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> we still laugh about that even up to today. You know, you know. And, and uh, you know, I, I just said to myself, I said, you see, this is the longing of every parent yeah. is to see that the, the Praises of God goes to that generation. Mm -hmm. Now that's my third generation shouting hallelujah. Yes. Yes, you know. So I can't stop shouting hallelujah because it's still a fourth generation. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So it's good to praise God. It's good to honor God. Like so he said uh, 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 when God called him a man of valor. In other words, God is saying you're strong. You are strong. And the Bible says, when I'm weak, let me say I'm yes. strong. Amen. Don't say that I'm weak, you know. Like I always say, if you're wishing for coffee, don't say I'm dying for a cup of coffee. <laughs> say I'm living for a cup of, for a cup of coffee. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh, praise God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. Can we just get together to pray?